Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to start making your own wood burned ornaments for your Christmas tree. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a simple snowflake. Here is an example of a more intricate one that I've already done, and you guys can get as creative as you want with these. They don't have to be in any particular pattern. I'm just going to show you what I've done. This is an example of a deer that I had done before also and all you have to do to make these different patterns is draw or trace a picture, any image that you want onto your little wooden ornament circle and then just follow the lines and fill in the colors as you like. This is a little pine tree with bells on it and these are just really fun you can you can do lots of different things uh, lots of different shading I've done some shading to get the the dark sides of that bell on there and you know these are just little fun ones there's so much stuff you can do with these really I'm using Aspen with a live edge. My husband just sliced these from a log with his bandsaw. I did not sand this one particularly. You can if you want to, but you can also find these little wood slices with live edge from just about any hobby store. Instead of trying to freehand while you're burning, go ahead and mark the lines where you want them to be with a pencil. You can use a ruler. This just makes sure that your lines are a little straighter and everything comes out a little more exact. However, don't get too concerned with perfection. Just have fun with these. They're so creative and there's so much you can do with them. Just have fun. I'm using the razor tip wire burning system and my heat setting is set to six. I have a larger knife tip nib on the end of it. Before you start burning, you always want to make sure that you check your heat setting on a scrap piece. Just make sure that you're not too hot or too low to be making any kind of impressions. When you start burning, follow along the lines that you previously made. Try to keep your tip straight up and down. This is going to make your strokes thinner and more even. If you lay it over to one side or the other, you will end up getting a broader stroke. Now, especially if these are gifts for friends or family, you don't have to worry too much about everything being just so and perfect. You know, the little mistakes here and there give them character and make them look more individualized versus something that was mass printed. Now to make circles, you can either use a tip that's round or like I'm doing, you can use a flatter edge of the tip of your knife nib and make a top half moon shape and then a bottom half moon shape and then fill it in. I'm just going in and adding some more details to make this piece look a little more full. If you have a soldering iron wood burner, this tip is really useful. It's got broader edges for doing shading and work like that. It's got a nice tip that you can do circles with. It's got this awesome flat edge that you can make lines with. It's just really versatile. To make the holes for the ribbons, I'm first putting a block of wood behind the ornament. That's going to protect my desk from getting holes in it as well. And then I stole one of my husband's drills <laughs> and hopefully I'm going to put it back where it goes so he doesn't 
No, I took it. And then just drill a hole all the way through the ornament and pull it back out. Then I'm using some satin ribbon. Uh, I just got this from probably Walmart or Hobby Lobby. It's fairly inexpensive. Just cut it at an angle, feed it through your ornament hole, and then double knot it at the top. And make sure your knot doesn't slide down. And I'm just cleaning up the edges there. And you got it! Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and get creative making your own holiday ornaments. Please tag me on Instagram so I can see all the cool things that you guys create. What do you call the fear of being trapped in a chimney? Claustrophobia. Hope you guys have a great holiday season. I will see you in January. And please don't forget to like and subscribe.